Welcome back, it's another virtual farmers video, and it's harvest time on the 1980s, and this is a big, this is, this is gonna be super fun. Um, we got all, us three guys out here, um, I don't know where Chase is, he disappeared. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, so, um, so I'm gonna get out the grain trucks, right, from, what we, we, we do not do with the grain trucks is we, wait, whoa, this thing was on the grain cart? <laughs> Yeah. So what we do is we, when we're hauling grain from the combines to the bin site, we don't use the trucks because they don't like they don't line up with our auger. We only use our gravity wagons. So our three gravity wagons are there is what we use for harvest. But the grain trucks, the bed of the grain truck is what is used like when we're hauling to sell stuff. Then we just hey, use those. Hey. But, yeah. Why don't we put the Minneapolis Moline on the grain cart? That's a bad idea. <laughs> that thing's gonna pop a wheelie. Pop a tire before it pop a wheelie. Yeah, <laughs> guys, we gotta we gotta get some soybeans done. And oh, why am I taking out the planter? The That's auger. the wrong season. <laughs> yeah, put the mulling on the auger. That's a good idea. Um, but um, so we gotta get. We're gonna. This is this is gonna be the gleaner's test. Um, we have tried the new headers, and both of them start oh, threshing. Which and auger? We just have I got running the cleaner. Like auger. Okay, we just have right. not tried them with the actual combine, but we're hoping it works. So guys, I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna run this out on, on the side of the road just so we're ready to go, and I'll run back, and I will grab the. John Deere and get that out, or the Gleaner, whichever one's easier to get out. I think the Gleaner will, and then, then the John Deere. All right, so I'm back at the um the uh, shop here, and we're gonna fire up the Gleaner. We gotta take off the John Deere corn head that's not meant for this thing. We gotta grab the the Gleaner bean head. Are we doing beans first? Yep. Alrighty, guys. I got the um the bean head on here. It's not a very big bean head, but I mean it's pretty big. Bigger for... than bigger than the John Deere, right? Is there? I... I think they're around the same size. Let me look on my fancy flip phone. Flip phone? Nah, <laughs> it's the wall phones. <laughs> no, it's a flip phone. So is any flip phones? Uh-huh. Oh. Alright, guys. Seven meters and... <laughs> this oh. Is... Hey, Never but... mind, I was wrong. Camden, the, uh, the gleaner is fired up right now, and it's taking off soybeans already. I'm just cutting open a little thing to start parking Holy our stuff macaroni. in. macaroni? Yeah, and it's no problems having, and these, these, these things are coming off well, these beans, and I'm having problems with those, so... How am I gonna attach this, is my question. What? The, um, auger. Oh, that's up to you. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we are got in the combine, so we got everything going. Um, it's all running pretty nicely. The M3's taking off soybeans like a charm. Um, but we, the, yeah, the great cart is not really, we're not really, I don't know why we're using it for soybeans, because we really don't need it. So, Shepard, put that at the end of, other end of the field, so if we want to unload on that side, we can. But, like, really, we don't, really, most of the time, we don't need it for soybean harvest, um, but we just have it out here just in case, um, and so, and then we have some silage to do later today, we got some silage to take off with our silage chopper, yeah, the beans were actually done a lot earlier, because it was pretty of a dry, so now is our time to take off some silage, and then probably in the next video, we'll be taking off corn, but since the beans were ready to go that's why we're taking these off kind of early it's actually guys it's so sh october 3rd but we're actually kind of set in september so we're trying to september 3rd kind of but yeah so the beans are pretty supposedly supposedly pretty early so i don't know but we're just going to be taking these off we're gonna um i'm gonna get these uh we're gonna get this hopefully knocked out by the end of um i want to be pretty much done with this field by at least uh three o'clock in the afternoon the end so of the day at least three o'clock so we can get this forage stuff ready to go for tomorrow or whenever we're gonna do that because we're gonna we're gonna chop silage soon but yeah so i'm running the gleaner and it's running 
better than I thought it would. It's I, I haven't seen any problems, and it's actually kind of been a huge help to harvest. So... <laughs> City lines and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kinda miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's break. Alright guys, so um I'm taking a break. I got I'm gonna shut the gleaner off here. Camden's gonna go he's gonna go down and back. Um He's gonna go down and back and uh take a quick swipe real fast and then we're gonna go chop we're gonna get we're gonna get ready to chop some silage. Um actually yeah, so we were planning on getting that field done before we chop silage, but we heard that there might be some rain in the forecast for tonight, so we actually just wanna get out because we we don't want, I mean, technically the beans are what we should be more worried about, but we really don't want to have to run into a problem that we, that we don't have, um, like the silage turns when we don't want it to. Like, we just, I don't know, we just don't want to have it, like, turning to, or like, turning brown when, when we haven't even taken it off yet, because it takes out the nutrients in the actual stock for when we... Because with silage, guys, you want, like, all of the corn. You don't just want that ear. So, technically, we don't really want that ear to be very big or anything. We just want everything else to be nutritious. Because that's how you'd want it for the cows. But, like, when it when it starts to die, like, right there, all of it goes into that one corn stock. Like, in a normal corn, you know, how it all just goes, for, like, the rest of it's meaningless. Because the not our combines don't even like try to keep the rest of it they just chuck it out the back but like we want the rest of that so we want the whole stock to be pretty nutritious and stuff so that's why we try to get it off a uh, earlier than normal all right guys we figured it out how to get the chopper stuff to work we have a new wagon obviously you can see we got some gel wagons um uh, or uh gel i don't know how you say them but yeah it's the it, I don't even know if it was something with the New Hollands or not. I don't think it was. I think it was something with the corn, but it's fine. Um, we're gonna. We got everything pretty much figured out, and so these. It, it's yielding actually really good. Like this is. But I. I. I've said that with everything. I've said that with the soybeans. The soybeans did not actually yield that good. I also said that with the hay, and that actually did not yield very good. But this. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> you look at the chopper box. It's pretty much, it's already, we're already halfway full and we haven't even, we've only done a little bit of a strip. So I'm actually, actually bro. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at 60%. Oh my gosh, chat. All right. We'll have to do the exchange thing. How, how do you, I forget how to do that. <laughs>
we're having a lot of problems with this. Oh, crap. <laughs> we're having a lot of problems with this whole forage harvesting deal. I don't know why. But so supposedly, like, when I drive away, these wagons, these gel or uh, gel, gel wagons or whatever, I don't know really the name, they, like, will, they'll just, like, lock into the ground and they can't drive them. Like Camden and Chase, they're having problems. So we're trying a new Holland box. Um, but I'm, I'm working. I'm gonna run this. Yeah, cause I'm near you. <laughs> but I'm gonna run this. Oh. I'm gonna run the, the um. I'm gonna run this chopper box home, unload it, and if that one works, while well, time I'm running it home, we're probably gonna sell all these ones and buy all new Hollands. I know it's kind of a mess, but just kind of you gonna have to go with it, cause we're still rookies. He, I mean, and some mods just don't work, and if it's, I don't even know if it's our game stuff or what it all is, but... Uh-oh! Is it not working? Hold up. Yep, nope. It's gone. It's gone? Well, like, it's what? like doing the thing. I, I think it's when you go away. Yeah, it definitely is. But Camden, so when you were driving the truck, was it locking in the ground, or was it... No, it was just where I was just drifting everywhere. Well, here, Maybe Chase, Chase. Chase. Like, I Chase. couldn't control the truck one bit. Okay, Chase, get in the get in the truck. Get in the truck, and I'll, I'll run the Forge Harvester for the time being until... See how that goes for me? Is me that also, that's a good chance that that's just Shepard. Yeah, Shepard's no? a buns driver, so I don't know. Eh, I just drifted <laughs> too, so I don't know. I, I, <laughs> it's uh -huh. a good chance that it's actually you. It's just you, though, Shep. Well, let's see. It's, it's a is good it... chance that it is. You drifted or because you were... Yeah, he, I, I, just saw, I just saw him drift. <laughs> <laughs> right into the yeah. fence post. Now he's... Is it not working? No, he's cockeyed, so he has to. He's using the super strength right now. <laughs> Wait, so it's it's not working. You're like going everywhere. No, he hasn't moved. I can't yet. even move now. <laughs> it's like locked into the ground. Yeah. I think it's Chase being locked into the ground. Oh, now it's I got it. Move. No, I'm just I'm pulling it. Oh, there you <laughs> go, Chase. <laughs> I was just pulling it. And there goes Chase, so I can't see him no more. So he's going down. I can't on. get this! Is it not this working? I think it's the trailer. I think it's, I don't know, yeah. I think it's these, just these trailers are screwing up. Are you drifting? Anymore. Well, but we don't have I don't know, I'm just, I'm pulling it. We don't have a trailer that doesn't do that. Alt, or control S, control S, control S. <laughs> I'm just, Camden, I'm literally just pulling the trailer right now. I Where do we good. put the silage? There's a bunker behind, like, the garage. Okay, guys, thank you all for watching. That'll be the end of this video. Bye.